everyone, my name's Madeira. How are you today? I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day. Um, well, day is kind of not right now. It's actually like four in the morning, but I'm having a good four in the morning. I've been getting a lot of questions regarding like my new character and stuff. I know it's been nine months ish since I got my new suit, but I've never really explained like why I changed some things, like what my thought process was, like why I made that decision. And I do want to say like I didn't make every decision with the new Majira. A lot of it was done by different artists who helped me. I didn't design Majira myself, trust me. I don't know anything about character design, but I did design the old Majira myself which is why it doesn't look that good. I'm just gonna go into like two different topics today. I'm gonna talk about my stripes and my eyes. The eyes is definitely the most asked question. The stripes, not so much, but I just wanna talk about it, I don't know. Let's just get started. This is gonna be a very candid video, very unscripted. I'm just gonna talk and we'll see how it goes. So I have my old bodysuit right here. I know he needs brush. He just came out of the washer. He's a clean boy. If you look here at the, the thighs, he had purple and green stripes on both legs. So the stripes were actually supposed to be opposite of like the head. The green is on the left side of the eye, so the green's on the right thigh. The purple is on the right eye, so it's on the left thigh. So they're like opposite of each other. The reason I initially did this, let me give a little history. The very first iteration of Majira, Majira 1.0, had orange and pink stripes. I don't remember what legs are on. The reason I had orange and pink stripes is because I was trying to get that like full rainbow effect. When I made Majira 1.0, I was 16, very gay, and very in the closet and wanted to get it out somehow. <laughs> so I had pink and orange on my legs and when I got Majira 2.0, I was like, it looks kind of dumb. It kind of blends in with the red a little too much because like pink, orange, and red are very similar colors. And Majira 1.0 had both green eyes. Just wanna say that. I wanted to change up 2.0 a lot, so I was like, what if I did like purple and green eyes and like went with that? And then I did like the opposite stripes to match. So the stripes were always there and I just changed the color. So a big reason the stripes existed in the first place is because my very first persona was a tiger and I kind of wanted that to stay alive a little bit in my material design. So yeah, now that you guys kind of understand why I have the stripes in the first place, I'm going to explain why I moved them slash got rid of them. I didn't really get rid of them, just kind of changed how they look, change the aesthetic of it, kind of like less tigery and more like a tattoo, I guess? It's a marking, but it's not really like a natural marking. So on the old Madeira, they are on the thighs and there is nothing on the back. He is completely red on the back, like super fire truck. And on this suit, on this suit, I have like the purple stripes. So the reason I got rid of the stripes on the legs is because I wanted Madeira to be more like, I want to say modern, but I don't know if that's the right word. I guess more like I grew up so Majira grew up too, you know what I mean? So I got rid of the stripes, but I still kind of wanted them to be there. And I also wanted a back marking because this, <laughs> it's just red. It is all red. It looks so weird. And if there's any kind of like crease in it, it's very noticeable because it's all red. There's no patterns to kind of like mask that a little bit. I'm a very like warm boy and so <laughs> my suit creases kind of easily. I have to steam it every once in a while. So like when there's creases in the back, it just, it just doesn't look that good. And I just wanted something there to kind of like bring some sort of interest to the back because I didn't know what to do with the back, you know? Like, what do you, what do, you do with the back? I didn't know anything about character design. I still don't. I don't know what I'm doing. We decided to move the stripes from the legs onto the back. I decided to just keep them both purple because I, I was getting rid of all the green fur anyway. So they're just both purple and that's the thesis. It's just a pattern, you know, nothing crazy about it. No more tiger. I don't really need to hold on to that. I feel like it's kind of just me growing up a little bit and changing Majira with me changing. So next we're going to get into why I changed the eyes. Majira 2.0 has a green eye. Is that the green one? Yeah. And a purple one. Majira 1.0 had two green eyes. Just like this. That's how I wanted it from the beginning. It's not just some new thing. So Majira 1.0 had two green eyes. 2.0, green and purple. I initially did this because I felt there was not enough purple on the suit. Because there's a green nose, you know? So I was like, oh, there's a green nose and two green eyes. So it's like three greens. And then there's like two purples, right? The two ears. I was like, okay, let me just add a purple eye. Like, heterochromia is cool. Like, it's trendy right now but now looking back now there's not enough green like i'm purple tongue i'm so stupid like there's so much more purple but i guess since there's a green nose that's very like your first focus so it's like it kind of evens out in a way with heterochromia it was kind of a trend a few years ago so i did that i really liked it i was trying to be like you know really unique because i don't know <laughs> i don't know why i was so obsessed with being unique i just wanted to be very different so i had like stripes and a gold the gold thing which was ugly thank god i got rid of that when i changed the character to 3.0 one of the first things i wanted to do was get rid of this purple eye and one of the reasons is because 
was when I took thumbnail photos it would in this suit I would always point the head this direction because I think it looks better than this direction I think the green eye looks brighter it's cuter and it just like will grasp your attention better than this angle with the purple eye not saying purple eyes are bad it's just it's darker it isn't as attention grabbing so that's why these eyes are like super bright green is because like I wanted that but I would always like be turning this way like it's so natural for me to turn this way for a thumbnail I would be like hey and then there would be like words right here you can look back at my old thumbnails most of them are this direction and also I was just like I don't need like to be a part of a trend like I just want to have both green eyes I know hydrochromia is cool but I like the symmetry and another reason why is because I made the aesthetic decision <laughs> to get rid of the green on my suit like the green fur not the gr obviously not the green there's still green on my face and on my claws and stuff but I got rid of the green fur and I just stuck with the black white red and purple super simple I didn't need the gold I didn't need the green fur but I wanted to keep the green it's super iconic it's a part of my character so I decided to have green be more of a feature color so all of the aspects of my suit that are not fur like the nose eyes and the claws are green I just thought it looked better that's really it I think it looks better I'm happier with it I think my character design right now is like great I know a lot of people were very like critical of it but I I like it and at the end of the day I like it that's what matters that's pretty much it this was a super like simple video if you guys are curious about anything else about the new design, I think I pretty much covered everything. I got rid of the gold stripe because like when I sat like this, it looked like I had golden armpits, which made it look like I was sweaty. That's the main reason I got rid of the gold stripe, if you were wondering. Also, it just wasn't that cute. It didn't go with anything. What was the point, <laughs> right? If you guys have any other questions of like why I did certain aesthetic changes, let me know in the comments down below. I can do another video about this. Maybe I can do like a kind of a Q&A or kind of just talk about the whole process. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. By the way, I have some merch and a Patreon because none of my videos are monetized. So please go buy some merch and support my Patreon. It's like my main, my main thing. You know, I do YouTube too, but like that's not my income. My main thing is those. So go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, this looks so funny. I didn't even realize he was there like that. Silly geese. By the way, I changed his name to Twizzler, if you weren't aware. I've talked about it in videos and live streams and stuff. His name's Twizzler now. No association to the candy brand. The reason his name's Twizzler is because my friend Frankie just called him Twizzler one day and it kind of just stuck. So his name's Twizzler now. It's a lot easier than saying 3.02.0. It's a lot easier to say Majira Twizzler. That's, <laughs> that's the tea, sis. Thanks for coming to the tea session. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Ooh. Whoops.